The Silencer number four. Uh, Dan Abnett, uh, Victor Bogdanovic on it. So art's good. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, so yeah, so we have this this kind of flashback to when she first like when a uh, Silencer wanted to leave Leviathan, mm. and Talia was like, "Eh, no," nah. <laughs> and she's like, "No, nah, like I want to leave. Let me leave." And she's like, okay, I've got a mission for you. And she gets sent on this mission uh, for this guy who was part of the life. And he was, like, he was like a bookkeeper. And he's got this nice family. And it's all about how Silence is like wanting a regular family. And she's wanting, but she's like, okay, I'll do this mission. It's like, but you know, he seems okay. He doesn't seem like he's a bad guy. What, what, why am I taking him out? And when she goes to kill him, it turns out that he, he actually did ask to leave. He yeah, asked to get out. Talia actually says, you know, if he'd just come to me and asked, I'd, well, I'd let him. I'm reasonable. But he, but no, he went behind our back and tried to sell the secrets to get out. Yeah, but we find out that no, no, he did ask to get out. She said no, and then you know he felt you know it was in a corner. He this is his only option was to try and get out this way, and so. But of course, the, the other big thing here is that Deathstroke was hired by whoever's like you know protecting him to protect them. You know, yeah. he's there a sort of interference, and Silence was good enough that she actually gets Deathstroke out of the way long enough to actually complete the job. Uh, and Deathstroke and her fight a little bit. There's an explosion. It all looks very nice, very very cinematic. Uh, like I say, the art's very good. Uh, I, I think the panel where it, like, it goes... Because it, it's cutting back and forth between present day and the, the, the flashback timeline. Uh, the, we go back to the, the past again and she's like standing on a rooftop and she's like, so it's night time and she's like, you can just see the visor and this is really, really good stuff. Yeah. Uh, Bogdanovich is very, very good. Uh, so it is. That said, I'm a little conflict on this issue because oh. step up in the art but I feel the writing, it's its a lot clunkier than it was before. There's a lot more dialogue and a okay. lot more word bo- you know, thought boxes, narration boxes than there were before. It feels a little overcrowded. Like if you just look at the opening page, there's just a whole sequence of narration boxes. And I feel like, little, I don't know, there wasn't quite that much. It, it feels like more than there was before. Um, Yeah, maybe. Um. I wonder if it's because it was less of an action-focused issue because it was dealing with so much of the setup of the past and then the present-day stuff was, again, it was set up of, well, here's her home life. She's struggling with the washing machine and she's going to get yeah. more guns when the guy's like, oh, make sure you take out, you know, put Talia back in charge because she's awful, but she kept a tight ship. You know, things were okay. No, it could well be. It just, it feels a little clunkier than the last few have. Well, that's fair. It could just be the flashback structure more than anything. This maybe it, it, it could, He's yeah. trying to squeeze too much into the one issue and you're, you're getting that kind of effect. Um, I, I actually thinking about it, I kind of agree. It didn't flow as quickly as the previous issues. I guess that's where I'm feeling the effect of that. Um, yeah. Obviously, the big ending is is it cuts back to present day and Deathstroke kind of like ba- literally lands on her car. Yeah. For round two. Uh, I like so. that we have a you know an older Deathstroke costume for the flashbacks. Yeah, no, that's that's a nice touch. Uh, notably, though, he seems to have two eyes. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're back at that point of his life. Yeah, Deathstroke's all over the place. We get Deathstroke and everything. He was in Justice League for the Last Dark. Now he's in Silencer. He yeah. was, you know, obviously his own book. Because <laughs> yeah. that's Deathstroke. Well, well, uh, one of the touches I liked most is, you know, uh, she's taken out the target and she's got the zone on. Mm. And you hear him saying something, or you see he's saying something, but you, you see the speech bubble, but it's blank. Because obviously it's in the zone. Yeah. And she's like, Do you know what? I, I should probably hear his last words at the very least. Give him that much respect and, you know, cancels. It just cuts in mid-sentence. Her power, honestly, is actually really intriguing to me because I feel like it has a lot of little dramatic, like, points. Because whenever we see her fighting in a bubble and no one outside it hears any of it, it's been really, like, it's, it's had a good, like, set-piece kind of, like, atmosphere to it where, you know, the kid's in the, the car and he can't hear anything, but we see it, them it, fighting it in the background. It always plays, like, you, you'll, you'll see it a lot in, your know, movies and TV where there's a fight going on, but someone's got their back to it and they've got some headphones on. So they're listening to some music and don't notice it's going on behind them. Kind of that, but that, I feel like that's usually played more for comedy, whereas this actually has like another effect to it. Right, it's got yeah, it's got a, a dramatic version of that. Yeah, and it works. And it's the same thing with the speech bubble, where oh, I should turn this off and hear his last words. Like again, it's a little dramatic moment that comes out of it. I, I like her power a lot. I think it actually has a lot of neat little storytelling and at least I agree. I th- at least artistic set piece moments as well. Maybe I think it's why it stands out amongst this line as. Do you know what? This is kind of unique. Yeah, yeah, I could do with this the kind of right. Yeah, like, as much as you're enjoying, you know, you know sideways, it, it plays like okay, it's kind of like a spider man sort of book. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though the power's a bit different, it, it plays like that. Yeah. This doesn't play like any of those sorts of things. It feels much more oh, okay. You no, know, this is unique. This is its own thing. Yeah, I still like Traffic's way more, but um, I am enjoying this 
still quite a bit. Yeah. So, uh, no, no, it was, it was a solid issue. Um, uh, like I say, art is definitely a step up, which is which is nice. It is art to step up. I hope the writing's a little bit, uh, you know, a bit a little bit freer next issue because I, you know. I feel like next issue may almost entirely be one big fight between her and Deathstroke. So you might get. I am one hundred percent okay with that yeah. from Bogdanovich. 